Amert and Patriots. Political leaders come and political leaders go. Democrats get elected. They screw up and then along come the Republicans to rescue us. And then they screw up, so fickle voters, uninformed voters, stupidly vote again and again and again, election after election, repeating the cycle from Democrats to Republicans, over and over, until here we are, decades later, watching America implode. Most of us have given up. We want to abolish the government. We want to grab our guns and march against the D.C. East on July the 4th to make a symbolic statement. Unfortunately, this idea has been hijacked by attention seekers, hot smoking radicals, Christian haters, macho muscle heads looking for fight, thousands of troublemakers with too many bullets and not enough common sense. Where is Fred Thompson when we need him? Are you voters happy with the choices you've been making in recent years? Get your head out of the sandbox and take a look at the fantastic job our public servants are doing. Not. We love Obamacare. Not. We are proud of the Obama peace in the Middle East. Not. The Benghazi Embassy celebration was a great tribute to Ambassador Stevens and his staff. Not. We can all be proud of how transparent, even-handed, and totally honest the Obama administration has been going about doing great things for our nation. Not. Ignore those rumors about government involvement with terrorists, gun control leading to gun confiscation, free speech restrictions, persecution of Tea Party patriots, IRS investigations, the national debt crisis, and legalizing illegal activities on many different levels. None of those rumors are true. Not. Where is Fred Thompson when we need him? Is he too old to run for office again? Is he too cynical about voter incompetency to think any of us would ever take him serious? If he did decide to come back long enough to help us save our families, save our country, and save our planet. Well, I had thought about asking Fred to join the march against the DC East on July 4th, but I've changed my mind. In fact, I just posted this message on Facebook. Someone on the Adam Kokesh website has been deleting my posts. I will now withdraw from any promotion of Adam Kokesh and will not participate in any of his plans for July 4th, 2013. So, when I realized my mistake, I corrected it. Maybe most voters made a mistake in 2008, and again in 2010, and once more in 2012. So, does anyone regret making a mistake? What are you going to do if we experience more weather disasters? More wars? Higher food prices? Fewer jobs? A nuclear explosion? Solar flare storms? Electromagnetic pulse disruptions to our power grids? Or the collapse of Wall Street? Who would we want to lead us after America's history? Fred? Sarah? Michelle? Rick? Lord Jesus Christ? Obama? Not. Joe Biden? Not. Hillary Clinton? Not. Or the devil? Not. Maybe you disagree, but I hate deceptive politicians and evil wherever it is found. I hope that nothing I said led you to believe I was biased. Or had any prejudice against her chosen candidate. Not. J-I-G-R-O-P. Get ready for misery.